Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's a Rover 45 episode. The oldest boy is doing an oil change. Just come back from the Falklands. He's only been back since Monday. And we got the oil draining down there. Well, he has, I am. So he's doing the spark plugs. So we thought we'd just film away. It might not be exciting for you, but it's exciting for me. Watching him do some work. <laughs> Careful you don't round it. That don't sound good. Alright. He's gone quiet now, his camera shiny. me. <laughs> Look at the spider webs on there. Yeah, you've got to get out now. Take the cover off. <laughs> and then put your... Uh, then put it back in. Then put it back... Not in the cover, in there. Screw it back in. Preferably we'll like it being on the socket. Or, you know, ratchet. So it going straight. Come on, sausage. And just wiggle your uh, socket and then it probably come off. Put the ratchet on. Give it a bit extra little bit of leverage. <clears throat> yeah, it's been on there a while. There you go. Yeah, I'll give these a bit of a lubrication. There you go. You probably need that socket again now, Wayne. Yeah, you've got to take your coil pack out. Remember. Be careful with your wiring as well when you pick these up. Because they're so brittle, they break. Got a screwdriver to put in there, pull that out. Let's see what I can. Oh, you ain't got nothing at all, have you? I've got my, I've got my keys here. Yeah, I use my screwdrivers. They're in the footwell in my car. Had a hose go on this one, and I've had to order the hose in. It's going to take a few days. Put them down on the floor. That way. That's the side your ma broke. <laughs> See? Broke. Don't let your ma anything loose on anything. That's it. That's it. Just pull them up gently. Just lift up, is it? Pull it out there, there. You can just do one out plug at a time. Yeah. It'd probably be the real small one, mine. Nah, no, what I mean is you need the small socket. If you've got the small socket, there you go. That one, I expect it will be. Then you'll need your extension bar. You've got a bigger. Uh, Where's your bigger extension? That one. Yeah, put that one on. That should fit down in there. Yeah, it's got the rubber in there, any? Not that in there. You got the rubber fitment? Yeah, you're right. So if not, this... get him right in there. I think you should have. Yeah, you go. They weren't very tight, were they? <laughs> Keep going. Push it back down again. You've got to get that socket. It's got the rubber in there. 
Hello. Hello. Blimey. <laughs> I'll be back in a bit. Yeah, sorry everybody, just had a friend of mine turn up I haven't seen for God knows how long. Right, make sure you got the rubber on. Yeah, so we're just doing a spark plug change and everything, so nothing really too exciting. The oil, as far as I know, is still, yeah, making a mess down there. Yeah, we got the oil footer take off yet. <clears throat> yep. How's it running anyway? Uh, not too bad. Nice and clean. Cleanish. So it's running okay. Just squirt a bit of that up there first, uh, Jay. Squirt a little bit of that up there. Right here. Yeah, just squirt it in there. I bet your ma's giving you one that don't work. Okay. <clears throat> right. So it's just a spark plug change, but uh, okay, we'll come back in a little while because you all know how to do spark plugs. You just coil packs and whatnot, so it's easy enough. But we'll come back when it's a little bit more. Well, there ain't nothing really interesting, is there? There's an oil change to service. Hang on, I'll just wait, watch him put this in a minute. See if you can get an out. Rubber come out. Nope. Stuck in there again. <laughs> right, we'll come back in a little while because he's just having little problems with getting the rubber back out. <laughs> so we'll speak to you in a little while. Okay everybody, spark plugs are in, they're all done. Just got to do the oil filter and put the oil in. It's now pouring down with rain. <clears throat> yeah, so got that to do. Well he has, I haven't. I'm just supervising. It makes a change. Yeah, as you can see, everything's getting soaking wet. Still, look at the cobwebs. Cool. I don't know if you can see that. Cobwebs. Six months of the car being stored. Yeah. There we are. Well, <clears throat> I'll come back again. I only keep saying I'll come back. I'll come back. That's all I can do. I'm just waiting for him to come back out. He's going to get a raincoat to put on. It's absolutely pissing it down now. Okay everyone, right, we've done the oil filter, we're putting some oil in. Now when it comes to the spark plugs, just three of these bolts takes the cover off. And you've got two coil packs which do the spark plugs. Just undo the two two bolts, take them out, and then the coil pack will come out. Remember you're careful of your wiring which goes along here, that's the wire there. Just go careful when you take it out, because it's very fragile and it damage. Right, so we've got the oil filter on. We've put some oil in but we've had a nightmare getting this oil filter out we literally destroyed him getting him out he was so tight and i'm the one who'd done it up last time from the last service i must have really done it up so tight and that was only by hand and we couldn't get it off we literally banged the seven bells of crap out of that to get that off have you managed to get the other one done up tight 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 yeah what by hand yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. if it don't come off next year as you are it. <laughs> okay Right, so that's about it. So it's quite simple. Now we're going to do putting the oil in. We're going to do a fuel, this fuel filter change. So I got to find some spanners. So I got some, get some water, some spanners. Because we've only got a socket set up here at the moment. So we'll bring you that in a minute. I'm just sorry it's not a super duper video. It's just a a quick little video of him, of him doing his car. It makes a change he's usually me got to do it so it gives him a chance to do it himself so yeah we'll come back when we get some spanners to get that fuel filter off okay there's your fuel filter two spanners right i'm going to do this with one hand so i'm going to try and put the camera somewhere 
Well, we finished this board, don't we, Jay? Yeah, I'm gonna move everything today. Okay. Just tighten up. Good idea if I got rid of that, wouldn't it? Blew up. Cigarette in my mouth? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so someone that fucking fills up the fuel station with a cigarette. Original E5 as well, I have you know. <laughs> this hasn't been treated to any of that premium stuff or you can E10 yet. Yeah, I don't remember any of these coming out, just I think they just slot out, I think. Yeah, there's a little pin there. I might need a screwdriver. No, oh, just so I put them all over. I was going to say, yeah, you did have a minute ago. Yeah, everybody, everybody moans at me, don't they? Moan at me. Yeah, you're on camera, you know that, don't you? Oh, yeah, get fuel everywhere. <laughs> right, you've got your new one? Yeah. You have that one? Empty it on the grass. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it seems right, right? Oh, let's get in there, come on, you get in there. Like that. He goes in there like that. Putting these plastic caps on done absolutely nothing as well. Nah, they didn't work. You only keep the dust out of them when they're brand new. Alright, where did that? Where did that new one go? There it is. <laughs> yeah, I might see if Dad will do that for me. What's that then? Just wipe my tools off for me. Whilst hey, I don't know about that. Eh? Whilst I go to the uh, tire garage. Uh, Liam could do that, he's doing that, he's sat in the car playing games. You hope you haven't got the ignition on. Oi, Dippy, you ain't got the ignition on, have you? You shouldn't have the ignition on. Playing over your excited batch. That's all I need is to then fuel come flying. <laughs> right, spanner, come on, get on your spanner. Oh, here we go, here we go. It's got to be a different size, hasn't it? Well, that looks That. Um, it's reading that it's full. Yeah, you haven't started up yet, have you? No. You want to fill the car? Oh, fill up, innit? Oh, let's get this one done. Probably that one, actually. Someone's got the hiccups. Right, 
that should be tight enough. That was the bottom one that was leaking a little bit as well. I've just come a bit loose. Right. I don't think the fuel filter has been changed for at least three years. It's been a while. Ah, uh, there we go people. Something exciting for you. Uh, hang on a sec, let me just get some tools out of the way. Let's put the cap back on because I don't want oil flying out. Just start it up and shut it off just so the oil can circulate around a little bit. Oh, actually I can check if you see if the fuel pump, uh, see if that's leaking a minute. Right, shut it off and redo it again. Shut it off, redo it again. And again. Okay, I can hear it all going slush, slush, slush. So, just see if it starts. All right, shut it off. Right, do it again. Sounds a little bit cammy because it wants new camshafts and cam followers. All the cylinder head and everything that's all brand new on it. I'd we've done that a few years ago for him because he had the head gasket go. But the tight fisted bugger won't buy new cam followers and new camshafts. That's the reason why it sounds a little bit tapity. Clattery. Right, shut it off. Right, just <laughs> can't get over that noise it makes, man. Makes some weird noise. A little buzzing. Not the buzzing. It's like I'll show you. Look, I'll turn the ignition on. You stand over there. When I turn it on, you hear this weird sound. You hear it like gush. Yeah, it's like, it's like somewhere around here. Weird sound. This is the battery. Nah, it wouldn't be a battery. Oh, yeah. yeah, it does sound weird. Uh, check your oil then, see what it's like now. See if it needs to topping up a bit more. And then we'll lower it down. It'll probably still give you a false reading because you've got it up in the air. Is it reading anything? Yeah, so it needs just topping up more than yeah. Here. Just check underneath, make sure there's no oil leak or anything like that. Especially around the oil filter. Because the amount of problems we have with that shit thing. Look okay? Yeah. Alright, check the rest of the oil in then. So there we are people, one Rover 45 had an oil change, an oil filter, new plugs and uh, it's, they're quite simple to work on and it's had a petrol filter change as well. So it's all done now, ready for us to go to the NAC. So like I said before, if you want to know about the Maxi, that's got to be due a clutch change so I'll be doing that soon. Uh, yeah, so that definitely needs a clutch change. The Rover P6, I'll uh, start working on that one next year, as well as the Rover 800 and the Lada in between next year, doing those, as well as the Rover P6. The Maxi, i got to get, like I said, the bottoms of the doors, they were just tidied up for time being. So that door there, and he's cutting off at the bottom and new section welded in, which I'll do probably try and do next year if i got time and see how long it lasts anyway. But uh, yeah, so if you're interested and want to see more content and uh, some more videos, please like, subscribe to my channel. And there's also my other channel, my second channel, which is Everything Retro 2. If you're interested in die cast models, Corgi Matchbox, and other bits and pieces like old tools being done, I'd be doing all sorts of things like that. It won't be just be toys, it'll be all sorts being done. So if you want to see what I'm doing, and uh, 
please like and subscribe on that channel as well if you can't find that channel let me know and I'll put a link in the description and you can click onto it and you can see me doing up some little model matchbox cars and corgi talk about corgi cars and stuff like that so thank you very much for watching I'm sorry it's not a brilliant video but it's just something to bring you just to watch for time being anyway ta-ta for now bye bye <laughs>